hi friends so in this article i want to discuss about a very simple uh, command prompt utility which sql server provides is is uh, the bcp the bulk copy program it's a very simple yet very effective and and very strong uh, way a strong tool by which you can import uh, uh, millions of records in in a matter of minutes it's very effective and and fast both in terms of uh, uh, when you are trying to import data into a table or export data just that uh, when you are trying to export data it it, it puts uh, your data into a, a flat file or, or a dat file wherever you want uh, uh, specify the path and uh, when you are trying to import data from a text file uh, you can import the data into a table it's it's better that you disable or or or, uh, or remove the indexes perform the bcp and then rebuild the indexes uh, on the table it it's uh, in in this uh, this way you will be having a very effective uh, data push very fast and very robust and uh, your indexes uh, will not come in in between the data push so in in, in that scenario bcp is a very uh, effective tool uh, uh, so let's look at the command prompt how the bcp program uh, behaves and how are we going to import and export data so uh, let me create a simple table in my dev database quickly it's export tab uh, table that i have created uh, i'm pushing two records into it and uh, it looks like this we have two records uh, we will be uh, pushing this data out so we'll be bcping this data out uh, into uh, our, our b drive bcp folder uh, the folder path is here we'll be putting this uh, the records from this table so we write is bcp uh, the uh, database name that is dev the schema the table name export tab and then we say in or out so here we are trying to push it out so we'll say bcp folder and we'll name a file txt and then we have so this is uh, specifically the command initial command you'll say bcp bulk co uh, copy uh, program then the database name schema and table name and you will say in or out and then the path where you where you want to push uh, the data out the next option that you are going to have is hyphen s which is uh, where you'll specify the server name uh, hyphen u which is the username hyphen p which is the password and then you will say hyphen uh, then you'll say hyphen c but uh, this is when uh, you are uh, trying to use uh, some other account of, uh, and run the program but uh, in uh, any other scenario when you are uh, trying to use the integrated security or windows windows login login credentials which is the current security credential you just need to mention hyphen t which is uh, hyphen t stands for the trusted connection it will be use the integrated uh, security credential and and run your bcp command uh, and then you can simply specify hyphen c the hyphen c uh, stands uh, for performing the, the complete operation in the character data type so uh, by default your data that will be pushed out will have to, uh, tab delim uh, will be tab delimited uh, in terms of the field separation and will be a new line uh, and there'll be a, a new line acting as a row terminator so uh, these spe specifies c specifies character data type Firstly and secondly, it, it specifies that your data pushed out will be tab delimited in terms of the field separator and a new line character. Uh, I mean, in terms of the row terminator. So uh, this is uh, the precise command. Let's and say enter. So so this will push out two records into text format. So that that's that's your data pushed out. Now say uh, what I do is I'll I'll drop this table completely. and then recreate it and then we'll do the reverse so let's just so this is the difference that we are trying to say we will there is no if you see there is nothing the table is empty as of now and we will use the file that we have just bcp'd out to push the data back and, uh, so uh, let's push the data back we have simply changed the out uh, into an in command and we are just pushing it back and this is going to push your data back into the table so this was a, a simple in, in and out of, uh, of uh, the data the next thing that I want to show uh, in this uh, video 
is uh, we have simply seen uh, BCP for a simple flat table. Now what if we want to selectively push out a data by which I mean we have a query option and uh, and before before that before that hold on we'll get there before that what I want to do is I'll delete this file and show you the other option as well which is uh, uh, let's push the data out out using uh, an SA uh, credential so we have a SA uh, login I mean SQL authenticated login and, and we'll try to use that in, in, instead of the trusted connection so for that scenario we'll, we'll not be using your hyphen T we'll be using hyphen S the server name then we'll use hyphen the username then we'll use the password and then say hyphen C so this is uh, this uh, three things you need to specify if you're not using the trusted connection you are using uh, uh, here in this example I'm using the SQL authenticated login uh, which is uh, which is having the ad sysadmin access uh, to uh, BCP out so we will uh, we will use um, the uh, SQL authenticated login to Okay, let me just check what has gone wrong. Server name, username is SA login, password is B. Okay, the password is incorrect. Zero. Zero RD. Okay. Right. The password was incorrect, anyways. So we have pushed out the data using the SQL authenticated login. Let me do the same. Uh, so we have the let me drop the table again and try to do the push in also alright so there is there should be nothing let's push in the records from the file right so using the SQL authentication to so push the records so this was uh, this was one part and 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 the last uh, thing that I uh, want to show here in this video is is when when we have a SQL query based on which we want to push out uh, the data I mean selective pushing out of data so in that scenario what would be uh, the way of doing it so instead of we will say from dev dbo dot export tab where id is equal to 1 we are just pushing one record where id is equal to uh, equal to 1 and then instead of in or out we'll say query out we'll say query out instead of out when we're trying to push the data and let me rename and have a new file instead of this right so if you will have one record here only for the tab query that's that's it so this this was an example where uh, where what you saw is first we simply used uh, a flat BCP where there was a complete data push or uh, or pull of data in inside a SQL server table or outside I mean uh, in, into a SQL server table uh, or to a text file 
and when you want to selectively push out data not the entire thing when you when when you have a filter condition and and you have a query based on which uh, we saw how we can push out the data and and, and we saw how we can use trusted connections uh, which uses in sql server i mean which uses integrated security and, uh, and how we can use sa authentication uh, logins and password to uh, to uh, precisely pump and push data so this is uh, there are several other options as well i have i will i will i will put in uh, one more video where i will i'll show uh, one more important option in bcp that is the format files of how format files are generated and how format files can be used to validate the data being pushed in uh, that that would be uh, one more section apart from that you can uh, definitely uh, go ahead and and and, and uh, consult msdn where you'll get all the parameters for bcp uh, uh, and each of the contents and, and what they do for and do uh, i mean what are they functionally for uh, so you will get each of them what they stand for but basically most important i mean uh, use or, or most importantly what all things uh, 90 percent people do i mean this bcp will cover it so thanks a lot friends stay tuned for the format uh, format file bcp uh, option as well